Crimp and Preen, Mastering the Art of Self-Grooming. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into an interesting English phrase that you might have heard, Crimp and Preen. We'll explore what it means, how it's used, and some examples to help you understand and use this phrase confidently in your daily conversations. Let's get started. Crimp and preen are two words that are often used together, and they both relate to self-grooming. When someone is primping, they are spending time making minor adjustments to their appearance, like fixing their hair or adjusting their makeup. On the other hand, preening is a term that originally referred to birds smoothing or cleaning their feathers with their beaks. In human context, preening means much the same as primping, taking care to make oneself look neat and attractive. The phrase, primp and preen, has its roots in both human and animal behavior. The word, primp, comes from a low German word meaning, simple, or, neat, and it evolved to mean making oneself neat in a slightly fussy way. Preen, as mentioned earlier, is borrowed from the bird world. When used together, these words emphasize the idea of spending a lot of time and attention on one's appearance. Here are some examples of how primp and preen can be used in everyday conversation. Before the party, she spent an hour primping and preening in front of the mirror. I don't understand why he always has to primp and preen so much before we go out. The actress was seen primping and preening herself at the vanity table. There are other phrases and words that convey a similar meaning to primp and preen. Some of these include, doll up, to dress or adorn elaborately, gussy up, to make oneself or something more attractive, especially in a showy or gimmicky way. Titivate, to make small enhancing alterations to something. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, primp and preen, and how you can use it in your conversations. Remember, it's all about taking that extra bit of care to make yourself look your best. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more English language tips. See you in the next video.